Hello, this video is for those who'd like to know if the person they've got a crush on has mutual feelings or not. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they're feeling the same way or not about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread, we'll see if there is a potential between you and them. Or, if their heart is with someone else, then in the second spread, we'll try to see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please subscribe and donate to support this channel. Let's begin. Hi Libra, let's see what the person you're in love with or have a crush on thinks about you. This spread is from their perspective. We have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles, then we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, this person is uh, devastated right now. I don't know if you are the one who caused this devastation or this person just uh, recently went through a major, major breakup. But this person is really feeling it right now. They're just devastated and they're depressed and uh, they are not looking to start any relationships right now. The Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a devastation, this is a card of uh, betrayal or heartbreak. We also have the Five of Pentacles, the first card on the left, this is a card of somebody who feels left out in the cold, and the Nine of Wands right next to the deck, this is a card of a wounded warrior, somebody's walls are way, way up. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles right there in the middle, I don't know what the Ace of Pentacles here represents, it could be you, Libra, who is thinking about making them an offer, and uh, if that's the case, I, I don't know if that's the right time. You could. Um, sort of help them power through this but I don't think this is the right time to make them an offer to actually start something new uh, I think this person will say no like I said you could uh, comfort them you could be there for them and at some point in the future when uh, they're done healing uh, you could try again but not right now this person is uh, not ready whatever happened to them it just took a number on them. So I'm not surprised that you're checking in. Perhaps you think that now this per since this person broke up with the with their ex, there is an opening for you to uh, sort of make your move, and that's why we have the Ace of Pentacles here. But um, no, it's not the right time to make the move. You could give them a helping hand, like I said, but uh, definitely not right now. All right, Libra. So the second spread is on new love coming towards you in the near future. Since that person that we saw in the first spread is unavailable, I decided to ask for new love. We have uh, Temperance, we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Emperor, and we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Sagittarius or an Earth sign, or as well as Capricorn. You could also be dealing with an Aries or an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. So yeah, I know it's kind of crazy. Every single card on the table represents one or more um, zodiac signs. So it could be any one of those two people. But if we want to stay general, then most likely you'll be dealing with this King of Pentacles. Um, this is a court card here. This is either an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this person is very grounded, uh, very stable. They could be really good with their finances. They could be working at a bank or a financial institution, right? So this person is going to be very serious about you because uh, we've got three major card, three major arcana cards out of four cards on the table. Um, yeah, so this person will be um, this person will be definitely in charge. Because we've got the Emperor here, this is a, a card of somebody who is, in, who is large and in charge. <laughs> just felt like saying it, it could be large and in charge. Or this person is a figure of authority, the Emperor could also represent the future husband figure. right? Somebody who is going to come in and assume control of the situation. But I don't think this person is a tyrant, it's just the way they are. Um, Temperance, the first card on the left. I think this is all about... Um, you know, the two of you sort of blending together, so to speak. So you will find common ground, you will find um, your roles in this relationship, right? With this person being kind of dominant. I don't know if you like that, but uh, perhaps the two of you will have a sit down and uh, you'll just talk, talk it through. You'll, you'll tell me, you know what, I don't really like when people, uh, you know, pressure me into things. And I think they'll 
accommodate um, that for you. Or it's going to be something where the two of you come together in a mutual understanding, right? We have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. If this is not an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this is this person wanting to seal the deal with you really quickly. And I think this is uh, very similar to the Emperor energy because the Emperor is also powerful. They know what they want and uh, they came, they saw, and conquered, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the energy I feel in the Knight of Swords. They want to come in, they want to seal the deal with you, and uh, they sort of want to claim you. But in a good way, again, because uh, they really see this future together with you. Alright, so um, that's what I got for you, Libra. Hopefully it resonates. And uh, other than that, have a great month. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.